And that brings us to the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up, Mr. Producer? Here it is. And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is California bans the word alien. California is banning the word alien. California in the Hill magazine. California is going to replace the word alien with non-citizen or immigrant in the state laws. California Governor Gavin Newsom on Friday signed into law a measure that will effectively remove the term alien from state laws in reference to residents who are not U.S. citizens in a response to growing arguments that the word is outdated and offensive. The legislation, which was authored by California Assembly Member Luz Rivas, Democrat, will replace the word with an alternative term like non-citizen or immigrant, according to an announcement from Governor Gavin Newsom's office. While state laws passed in 2015 and 2016 removed the word from the California Labor and Education Code, the measure signed by Newsom Friday will replace the term in all state laws. (laughs) Think we're living in 1984? Orwellian times? Yes, we are. We have a clip of this podcast, listeners, and it's NBC News in the Bay Area reporting on this bill. We had that clip, and here it is. The word alien will be removed from all California codes after Governor Newsom signed AB 1096 into law. The state law used to word alien, used the word alien, I should say, to refer to undocumented immigrants. In a statement, Newsom declared that as the nation's most diverse state, California is stronger and more vibrant. Because of immigrant communities, he called the word alien offensive and divisive. The bill suggests using resident, person, undocumented immigrant, or person who is not a citizen instead. <laughs> so, you know, I could just see the day comes when um, we have like aliens coming from outer space, you know, and the Californians, half of whom are like dazed and confused all the time anyway, like, oh, we can't call them alien. I mean, they're not really alien. I mean, the term alien is not a bad term. It is used for people who are not citizens of your country. And it's very clear and clarifying. But of course, the Democrat Party is trying to change the English language. So this bill number is Assembly Bill 1096. And it removes the derogatory term, excuse me, alien, used to describe foreign-born individuals, foreign-born individuals. So Assemblywoman Luz Rivas, this is a lady in California, she introduced AB 1096. It was now just signed. So she tweeted out, Governor Gavin Newsom just signed my bill, AB 1096, to remove the term alien from California law when referring to immigrants and non-citizens. Today marks a huge step toward and forward in the fight to dismantle institutional racism targeted specifically towards our immigrant communities. So now, according to this assemblywoman, Luz Rivas, who just had her bill signed by Newsom, you are an institutional racist, and it's systemically racist to call someone who is not an American citizen an alien or an illegal immigrant. You have to call them what they are, according to her. (laughs) So now we're racist when we're just trying to use something as simple as the English language. So here's Governor Gavin Newsom. He, it's a statement from his office concerning this bill. And he says, Governor also signs five additional bills to protect safety and immigration uh, and from Californians and short protections against discrimination. Sacramento, continuing... California's commitment to welcoming and diverse communities. Hmm, I think he meant to say welcoming diverse communities. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a suite of bills today expanding the state's humane immigration policies by providing protections and support for immigrants, including a new law to replace the outdated and derogatory term alien used to describe non-citizens in the California state code. Quote, As the nation's most diverse state, we are stronger and more vibrant because of our immigrant communities, said Governor Newsom. Quote, this important legislation removes the word alien, which is not only an offensive term for a human being, but for far too long has fueled a divisive and hurtful narrative 
By changing this term, we are ensuring California laws reflect our state's values. AB 1096, authored by Assemblymember Luz Rivas, will replace the word alien with language more reflective of today's legal terminology, such as non-citizen and immigrant. And of course, it goes on to virtual signal again and again and again in this particular in this particular uh, statement from Governor Gavin Newsom. So as I said, podcast listeners, now we're going to use new words in the English language to refer to people who are illegally in the United States and are and should be deported, quite frankly, and should be required to come in legally. And we're going to use those words so that you are confused and you're confused about really who is a citizen and who isn't. And of course, at the same time, we're going to make sure that we get rid of voter ID so that what? So that people who are here illegally and are illegal aliens can vote. But first, we need to call them something else. We need to call them something else like migrants. Well, you know, the migrants are working here. So why shouldn't the migrants be able to, you know, vote? And why should the migrants have to show voter ID? And that is exactly what all of this is about, which is why we incorporated into this podcast the idea of voter ID and Ted Cruz talking about it, as well as all of the other issues that we talked about as well, which is to have a country that doesn't have borders, because that's how you flip the country and you put people who don't have the American experience in charge in just one generation. (laughs) 